Hey, Kyrie, I know, I know it ended in a loss, but but what did you see? How much did you enjoy guys from the Stay Ready group making a run at this thing down the stretch? Uh, I mean, they just played their hearts out. That's all you can ask uh, coming out here to play uh, the game that we all love. So just to go out there and compete. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure they, they were chomping at the bit, uh, especially get that win down the stretch for us. And, and I feel like they grew as a group. We grew as a team. Uh, they learned some things out there uh, playing against a high-level playoff team that we can potentially see down the line. So it was a fun game overall. I know you. I know you guys have focused on you, and and you often talk about the main stage. But what did you? What'd you pick up? What'd you learn about this Philly team? As you mentioned, with them potentially being a team you can see down the road. Uh, I mean, they are who they say they are. Um, you know, picking up the the pressure on the defensive end, uh, playing a lot through Joel, and just making the right basketball plays. They play hard. Um, you know, so they are who they say they are. Malik Andrews, ESPN. Kyrie, uh, we just spoke with Alizé, and he said that as much as he loved it out there, as much fun as it was, that there's still work to be done. Next time we're in that position, we're going to get it. What does that mean to you to have those guys who are in that position, who you've watched work to pierce through, still have that be their, um, you know, internal dialogue in those moments? I mean, well, you can't make up experience, uh, you know, can't fast track someone to being an experienced veteran. So when you have opportunities to be able to, uh, you know, play some tough close games in the regular season, then, um, you know, I feel like that does wonders for them in terms of growth, their growth. Uh, you know, we don't have majority of the starters out there towards the end of the stretch going against a, you know, playoff driven team, a championship driven team. You know, you kind of want to see what they're, they're made of. Um, you know, out there on their own, you know, being coached well. So we, we were just standing up for them, um, supporting them. And, you know, next time I'm sure that they'll come out with the win down the stretch with that group. You know, I'm sure that they'll be down in that same group uh, whenever the last few games are in the regular season. Bruce, back NBC New York. Kyrie, you had 37 and nine in 33 minutes. You really couldn't have done more. So how do you digest a, a performance like that, an effort like that in a loss where you're shorthanded? Uh, like I said, we're just proud of the guys out there. You know, they they handle business and, and they learned a lot about themselves. And, and that's all you can ask. You know, obviously the regular season means a lot, uh, you know, in terms of standing and stuff like that. But when you get an opportunity to put a group of guys out there that are hungry to play and, and, and want to figure out how to, how to win against a great ball club, then, hey, rightfully so, uh, we give them that respect and we give them that trust and they went out and did it. So it was easy to kind of watch from the sidelines. My performance kind of gets thrown under the rug. You know, I wish, obviously, we could have finished the game as a group, but, um, you know, they were up 18 when I came out of the game. Hey, you know, they're playing better. They're playing with more resolve. They're playing with more energy. Leave that group in and let them rock. Um, so my night was done regardless, but I'm happy to, to see, um, you know, us be on the sideline and, and those guys handling the business. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Considering uh, that this was not a full-strength roster and considering how long you guys have to go before you get to the playoffs, is there is there a lot to be taken from this game? Or at this point, is there not that much that you're going to learn about them and not that much that they can possibly learn about you? I don't know if we played a fully healthy game against one another, so I think that's yet to be seen. So to be determined uh, in terms of seeing that, uh, of both teams healthy. But in the interim, in the regular season, you know, we've, we've both teams have been pretty consistent of uh, being on the road, being at home and taking care of business. And we, we'll see each other down the line, hopefully, um, you know, these next few coming months. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, just when talking about the game, what do you think was the difference tonight? It seems like you guys were able to stay within striking distance for most of the game, but just not really, yeah, just not really close that gap. Yeah, uh, just just keep it close. Just keep it close. I mean, it's the NBA. Runs are going to happen. Um, we we kind of figured that uh, once they went on their attacking, uh, once once they went on the attack a few times throughout the game, got it to win within nine or eleven or uh, extended lead to nine or eleven. I wasn't panicking. We've been down before, so it's not anything we haven't seen. Um, but obviously, when the crowd gets going into it. The players start getting to the free throw line. They start slowing it down, or they start hitting threes at the end of the shot clock, or start hitting some tough contested ones off offensive rebounds. 
you got to give credit. You know, they started making shots in the fourth quarter, extended the lead, game looked over, and then guys came in and, and cut it to within three. You know, so pretty good game. Last question, Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, for, for DJ to basically be out of the rotation completely for five games and then come back and have the type of impact he had today, um, a, what kind of, what, just what does that say about him as, I guess, a professional being able to just be ready to, to play when his number is called? And then B, you know, him, him as a roller and being a lob threat, can you talk about what that does in terms of opening up opportunities for the offense and how that impacts the, the defense when he rolls and he's able to finish those lobs? Yeah, no, each time I'm getting going downhill, I feel like, uh, you know, having a lob threat at the rim, you, the other opposing big has to pick his poison, whether you're going to, leave me with my floater or, you know, allow James or KD or Landry or one of our other guys on our team that get going downhill to attack the rim and you're going to step up and then we throw lobs or you're going to revert back and, you know, kind of live with that in-between game that happens in, in, in the mid-range. Uh, you know, so I think he does a great job of, of being in the right space. Um, and, and when he's rolling hard like that, it makes my job a lot easier to go find him and throw it to where places, you know, throw it to places where people can't get him. Uh, we've seen that. Uh, capability from DJ his whole career. So it's not really a surprise, but I think uh, what's a big surprise is just seeing kind of the the attitude towards NBA players in general in terms of when they don't play. And, you know, it's just like, he's washed or this guy doesn't do this. And it's just like, I, I leave that for the fandom and the audience that enjoy the NBA basketball game and love criticizing all of us. And he's, he can't play anymore. And it's just like, you see all of it inevitably. And it's just funny because we work so hard every single day, diligently taking care of our bodies, taking years off our, you know, off our legs at times, trying to get ready to play these games. And when you see an NBA player go out and play well, it's just in his DNA. He's been playing basketball since he was in eighth grade, seventh grade. So it, it's not hard to be at a high level and stay there consistently, but we want to see him um, carry on that effort uh, consecutively moving into the next game, whether he's playing or not. Um, so he's done a great job of, keeping that mentality and, and adjusting his attitude to just being ready at all times. You know, it's not an easy uh, formation to get a bunch of great veteran guys who have done unbelievable things in this league and then kind of mesh it together. So we'll see what happens, but we just got to be a lot tougher, stay together. We'll be okay. And during this course. Thanks Kai. I appreciate it. Yep. Let me Thanks, say